Hello friends, today we operate push button control GC motor. Now we start the project. First we open Tinkercad. This is the Tinkercad text code. First we search component Arduino UNO. Then drag and drop here. Again we search breadboard, breadboard mini. And take two push button. One is clockwise, and second button is anti-clockwise. You have to put on the breadboard. And second, I have to take two resistor, 10 kilo ohm. Change the value of 10. Click here and change the value of resistance. 10. Now we search motor. Take one DC motor, this is a DC motor. Now we connect the circuit. In any terminal you have to connect ground. First I have to connect the resistor. I have connect the resistor 10 kilo ohm and second terminal of the resistor goes to the ground pin of the Arduino. This is a ground pin. I have connected to the ground pin. I put the black. Another I have another register I have connected to the second push button and second terminal of the register also connect to the ground. Now digital pin connect on that pin of the register which I have connected to the terminal 2A. I have connected digital 4 pin to the first push button in the same line which I have connected to the register. And digital pin 3 connect to the second push button. I have connected to the second push button. This is the second push button. Now we connect the power pin. Terminal 1B connect to the 5 volt of the Arduino. This is a 5 volt. I have connected the 5 volt, also change the color red and second, second push button connect to the positive, I have connected to the positive. Now the push button connection is completed, now we connect the motor. In the motor there is two terminal, we have to connect the terminal 1 to the any digital pin, I have connected to the 8 pin and second terminal also connect to the Digital pin, I have connect to the 9 pin of the RD. Also change the color. Now, motor and push button is completed. Circuit is completed. Now we have to make a code. Click here. First we make the variable. Delete this code. Make a variable. I have to make a two variable. Push button. Don't give a space here. You can use underscore. Push button. One. And copy it. Okay. Another we have to take for the second push button. Push button two. Then click OK. We have generated two variables for push button one and push button two. Take a set push button, another I have to take a push button. In the second push button, we have to change the number push button 2 and go to the input block and you take digital read. First push button is connected to the 4 pin, you have to put 4. Another we have to take read, digital pin, read digital pin. Second push button connect to the 3 pin of the Arduino. If you want to see the value of the push button, you have to go to the output terminal and take a print to serial monitor and another you have to take two serial monitor and go to the variable block. First we put push button 1 and in the second one push button 2. Now also take a control 
Take a wait one second, then you can see the value in the serial monitor. Start simulate and open the serial monitor. In the serial monitor, you have to see value is zero. If I am click here for the push button, you can see value will be changed. You can see value is one. Another push button I have put in, so value is also one. Now stop it and delete this wait block and give the condition if the one push button you click here the motor rotate clockwise another i have push button push button the motor will be anti clockwise go to the control block and take a if section this is the if and can go to the math section for the calculation take this block in the first block we have to put the variable variable 1 and equal to when I am clicking the push button, the value is 1. I have when I press the value is 1 and go to the output block which I put the motor pin. First motor pin is connect to the 9 and put the 9. Second motor is connect to the 8. Second pin. So first we high and second is low. So motor rotate clockwise and the right click and duplicate it. We have to change the push button, variable push button, go to the variable, take push button 2 and put the value and interchange the high and low, high and low. If the value execute, push button 1 is 1, then motor rotate 9, 8, another motor rotate 8, 9. Now start simulate. When I am pressing first button, you can see motor rotate motor rotate anti clockwise means robot rotate backward direction when i am clicking first push button then motor rotate clockwise means robot goes to forward direction when i am clicking this then robot goes to backward direction you have to take this condition to operate backward and forward if you in the one motor, there is two conditions only clockwise and anti clockwise, forward and backward. If you want to make a robot, then you can use two motors. Then you can operate forward, backward, right, left, and pipe is stop. Another I have to put. You can see the text code also. Go to the block section and click block plus text. You can see this is a text code. You can copy and paste it. Text code link also given in the de description. You can download the text code also. Now again, I have shown the output. When I am pressing first button, then you can see motor rotate clockwise. If you, if I want to put the second button, the motor rotate anti-clockwise. You can also comment also. Take this block or use the comment. Stop here. Use this. This is for the comment. You have to put one. Another I have take. You can put two. This is the first and this is the second. If you have any problem, you can comment also. Thank you all friends.